Okay, today is day plus 118, I think, yes. Um, I haven't posted again in a while. Well, I was going to post the other day, but of course it didn't work, so I'll post now. And I think it worked to post on YouTube, but I don't know, I'll just recap everything. Also, if I keep glancing up, I am watching the Oscars. So, and if you're watching, Charlize Theron, is that how you say her name? I don't know, I'm not even really sure who that is. I had to Google it, but that haircut, that's what I'm going for eventually when these little things start growing. Oh my gosh, look how dark this is. And dark patches, just like right here. Okay, um, anyways. <laughs> um, so, oh, let's see. I don't even remember what was in my last video. So I'll just go over everything. I had, I had gone home for... Um, like two days this last week um, to visit a couple friends and just put some skates on. I was just really dying to get out on the ice. I was just craving it, just missing home. Um, so we drove, we drove, my mom drove all night, um, all 12 hours on Monday night and I had my full day home on Tuesday. I went to a couple friends for one of their birthdays on Wednesday um, and we drove all night back again Wednesday night and I had we were back made it back in time for my appointment at 8 in the morning on Thursday um, on Monday we had found out that I got adenovirus adenovirus is a virus you can acquire too but they think it's just like the CMV that it reactivates in my body so I was pretty uh, bummed um, we had just gotten my CMV under control. We were talking about weekly appointments, and when we get weekly, we are going to go home. And you know, oh gosh, was I? I was just devastated because again, it's like I'm I'm trying to do everything right, and I still get this stupid virus. Like it just it's really frustrating, but um. So we actually found that out on Monday, and they said that to take a couple days, go home, and we'll start everything on Thursday. So on Friday, I started the treatment for the adenovirus, which is the Sidafavir. If you remember, I have tried the Sidafavir before. Um, oh, also, my adenovirus level was pretty low. Um, for them, to me, it seems high, 24,000, but to them, they said it is a low level. Um, my CMV had gotten down to 600 and some, so that's great. But that was with the Foscarnet. So when I was on the Sidafavir backpack before, my body did not respond, or the CMV did not respond to it. My CMV actually shot up a lot when I was on the Sidafavir backpack. But it is the only thing that they use to treat adenovirus with. So, and I can't be on both the Foscarnet for my CMV and the Sidafavir for my adenovirus because that can lead to kidney damage. So, we have a little problem. What we're trying right now is the Sidafavir treatment once a week, so it'll be every Friday, and no Foscarnet right now at all, and hopefully my CMV level is low enough to stay low and maybe even go lower. I'm not sure. It was it was higher before when we tried to start the Sidafavir, so hopefully it's low enough where the Sidafavir is strong enough to keep it under control and also take care of my adenovirus as well. So that's basically my, my main focus is trying to, you know, get that under control, but I found out that on Friday that it's minimum eight weeks. Minimum. So that's... Uh, end of April so that sucks um, I was bummed but you know what I guess we can make trips home we can make trips home and that's just I just have to be happy with that right now you know I try to like rush everything but I guess I'll just be happy with that it's better than better than other options that can come out of the adenovirus getting worse so for right now I have eight weeks minimum left here 
um, for this treatment every week. The thing with this treatment is um, it's not fun. I, I had gotten it before and I actually did pretty well, but three times in the day I have to take a, um, a medication, oral medication. The Sidofavir medication is actually IV that I get in the clinic. And three times a day I take an oral medication called Probenicid and it protects my kidneys. Mom just had to interrupt. Um, so where was I? The Probenicid protects my kidneys. So that's cool. You know, I could use a little kidney protection when I need it. The only bummer is it makes me extremely nauseous. So bad. Um, so bad that I am throwing up awful, you know, it's it like it causes like pain. It's like I am in pain and I'm nauseous at the same time. And at some points I was like feeling like it was worse than the Foscarnet, but I've come to terms with it. If that's how it's going to be once a week, that's how it's going to be, you know, it's my only option. You know, I can't just be like, um, is there something else? You know, it's it's literally my only option. So I'll get through it. Having the flu once a week, that doesn't seem so bad, does it? Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm used to it. But so basically every Friday I will be uh, sick. And every Saturday I will feel like I have the worst hangover of my life. So I'll probably be feeling better than some other people who go out on Friday nights. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, that's that's exactly how it feels. Um, but I don't know. I guess what can you do? I think I would pick I would pick throwing up sick over major lung damage or antivirus can settle in your eyes. I don't want any of that. I don't want people having a pick in my eyes. Yuck. I think I'll rather just get the flu for a, for a day, once a week. So that's for eight weeks. Maybe I'll start getting used to it. I've kind of um, been messing around with my anti-nausea meds a lot. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'm not sure if when I am on this medication that I will get to the point where I can go down to weekly since it's only once a week. Since I get so sick from it, I would assume not. I might end up having to be inpatient um, when I when I get this medication, so I'd probably be inpatient Friday and Saturday, possibly. Um, but we'll see. We're going to talk on Monday. Uh, I'm hoping that my adenovirus is down. I'm really hoping that my CMV is stable or less, because if it's more, then we have a problem of how we're going to balance the Foscarnet and the Sidofavir without damaging my kidneys. So that's where I'm at with all my treatment stuff. Um, something that I've heard a lot of that I just wanted to address, I guess, is that people wonder, like, why am I not in school? Why aren't you taking online classes? You sit there all day, you know, like, you say you're so bored. Why aren't you taking online classes? I have... I'm trying to think of an easy way to explain to other people. Um... People who have had chemo probably understand your brain is not your brain. It's foggy, chemo fog. It's, I literally forget what I'm saying in the middle of my sentences. It's forgetting basic vocabulary. Um, reading a book, pff, that's not ever going to happen. Well, no, I shouldn't say ever. You do get it back after about a year is when it starts. Last time, um, the last time I had chemo, I noticed that it took me about a year and a half to feel like, okay, I'm, I'm back to basically normal, but still not to where I was before, but pretty good, you know. I still forget things. I tell my friends things multiple times, and they just laugh because I don't remember. So what I've come to kind of compare it to is take a Harry Potter book, Harry Potter book or something equivalent to that and sit down a three-year-old and say 
you have two hours to finish this whole book and you can't move. That's what it's like when I try to do schoolwork. My brain doesn't comprehend things. It's not going to be ready to comprehend things. Um, I'm still recovering, you know, like it's hard. I, I wish I could go to school. <laughs> I wish I could just head on over to the university or, you know, do some online classes, but I try, I tried that last time and it just, it's, it's really hard. So I can't focus basically is what it comes down to. Um, I even had a tutor last time and I managed, but it was really difficult. And like the days, like this past Friday and Saturday, when I'm that sick, I just don't know when those days are going to be. And when I was in the hospital for a week here a couple weeks back, I was so sick. There's no chance I could get homework done on time. It's just my health is so unpredictable right now that I never know when I'm going to be inpatient or when I'm going to be out. So schoolwork is just kind of out of the question. Trust me, I do not want to be this far behind in school. That's another thing that just like makes me anxious. <laughs> But what can you do? I don't know. I mean, I'll get there. All everybody does is complain about finals anyway. So, no, I'll get there eventually. But, yeah, so if you're wondering, that's why I am not in school. And, yeah, so I have an appointment on Monday. I will get those numbers um, from my virus levels that afternoon or evening. And I'll probably post then. Who knows if I'm too lazy, you guys. That's such a struggle. Because sometimes I'm like, I'm in here, but my computer's in there. This couch is really comfortable. If I go in there, my bed's going to be super comfy. Those are like my battles for the day. I'll try to post on Monday, though. Other than that, that is all.